Hello, welcome once again. It's your girl, Princess Clayton, and Real Inspiration. We get to unleash the real you by making you believe in you and know that things that happen to you, they happen to lots and lots of people out there. They're normal. They, they, they just get to make you stronger. If they're not breaking you, if they're not killing you, they make you stronger. So you believe in yourself. Go out there. Be the best of you that can be and enjoy so today is something that's really personal to me it's about me what i'm going through and i'm trying to tell someone who is out there that you're not alone in this and be proud of that particular gift and calling that you have so i was just sitting some days back i think and today as well and i was thinking about life i was thinking about things that have happened to me people that i've come across people that i've crossed paths with and how things have been happening between myself and them and i got to realize that there are lots and lots of people that um come to me most of the times when they're sad when they're broken when they're weak and all that and by the time they're leaving me they're good they're really fine so i i was thinking what happens why is it that people are going to come to me so broken so sad so weary and everything and then they leave me they're fine i was trying to think about it what is this what kind of life is this the thing that got me thinking was not because I wasn't happy that the people turned out fine after meeting me. That's a good thing. Of course, everybody's going to be excited about it. So, and it's a sweet story. You see on my t-shirt, it has sweet story. Okay, so it's a really sweet story. When people can come to you and by the time they're leaving you, they can say, Oh, princess, I'm glad I spoke to you today. I'm glad I could vent. I could lash out. I could tell you what I was going through. I could let it all out there. I could be myself. I'm glad that I spoke to you today. It's a beautiful thing. So the way they came is not the way they're leaving. They're leaving better than the king. It's a beautiful thing. It's a sweet story. So the part that was actually getting to me was that when these people are fine, like they're fine, fine. So this is the happy them. I can't be in their lives. I don't know why. I don't know for what reason. Sometimes it's like they practically don't even want to talk to me anymore. Like I try to reach out to them, you know, sometimes just like a follow up to know how they're doing, if they're fine and stuff like that. But some of them practically don't want to talk to me. And I'm wondering, where did I go wrong? <laughs> well, I tell you the truth. It's not a problem. It's just a gift. Um, God made it in such a way that some people are like that. You can be able to take in a lot. Sometimes when people explain their troubles to me, it's like I kind of feel the pain. I kind of feel it with them. Like It's like I just know exactly what they're going through. It's not like I've experienced that before, but it's like whatever they're telling me, I can just feel it. It's a gift. There were times I used to pray and ask God all the time, like, take this away from me. I don't want to feel this pain anymore. I don't want to get to be losing people. Like when they talk to me, they're fine. When they're fine, I can't get to experience. They're happy them, you know, that kind of thing. But then I realized and I sat and thought to myself again, ain't it a plus that you can actually get people be the better versions of themselves? If that's true, then you want to keep that gift. Because I used to say when I was young, I was born to make people happy. I used to be this happy child. I'm still a very happy person. <laughs> and I tell you the truth, it's a gift that is like no other. Because it gets to a point where you have to self-regulate. Like after listening to all that pain, all that hurt, all that lashing, you can't do that lashing to some other person. But you just have to self-regulate somehow and get back to the happy you even after making that person happy, even after helping that person out of their pain. That is sure an amazing gift. And I tell you the truth, if you're out there, you're that kind of person, you feel the same way, you get to do things like that for people, then you have a heart of gold. You really have a big heart. So I urge you, you're not alone. There are lots and lots of people out there with that kind of a gift and it's one really amazing gift. You need to be proud of yourself and really make good use of it don't bother i i actually get, got to understand tg jake's statement when he said some people will come to your life for a reason and a season and when it's done they would have to go so it's probably just like that 
those people come to your life for that reason to vent to let it out and to get back to the happy them get used to it but then it's truly a sweet story i always say on real inspiration i love you but god loves you way way more if you got to like this video get to share subscribe and comment okay so i'll say put your hands up if you're one of those who had these amazing gifts like i do <laughs> bless you